All right, so today I want to show y'all how I've got the pregame uh, scene set up. So if we look at this screen right here, uh, this is just like any typical sports game. Whenever you, before you start the game, uh, you pick which side you want to control. So let's see, we can go back and forth. Uh, we can select either the away team or the home team. Press A to start and we are in the game playing uh let me show y'all me selecting the away team just to show you that it works now i am controlling the blue team so let's see how this works so first of all let me bring in the pre-game scene and let me show you um that we are using the ui to do this um we've got this icon right here and this is what we move back and forth and so typically we would when we move like a game object we would use like transform dot position and adjust that but since we're dealing with the ui with this we are not going to be moving the transform position of this object but rather the rec transform dot position so let's go into the script uh, I've got a pregame manager script. Let me get the text big so y'all can see it. So we get a reference to the gamepad rec transform. Uh, we just drag that in in the inspector. Uh, we just ignore this for now. Uh, we make it a singleton, and this is a cooldown bool, and I'll tell you why we need that in a second. Uh, so the team selector handler is what's doing the heavy heavy lifting for us so it's kind of a lot to look at and kind of hard to explain but really what we're saying is if if both the away team and the home team are not user controlled and we move left on the left stick then we want to set the away team to the uh to be user controlled and we want to move it left. We want to move the gamepad icon to the left. So let's, let's look at move left. So in order to move that icon, we've got to get a reference uh, or we need to create a variable for a position and just uh, store that reference of the, of the game, of, of the rec transforms position. And then we want to adjust the variable move it left 300 on the x-axis and then we set the position again to that variable set the position of that rec transform to that variable and so let me show you why let me just show you why we got to um well i was going to show you why but i really don't feel like undoing a bunch of code um the reason we got to do this cooldown is because like when we went in here and we, this might not, okay, never mind. Uh, and we go back and forth. If we didn't have that cooldown, it would just go all the way to the left. Like I couldn't go back to the middle. Uh, it would go here and then it'd still be picking up that input and it'd go to the right. So we got to have some kind of cooldown so we can just use the joystick to go back and forth. Um, if we don't, it, it won't stop. Like it, it'll just go all the way from away to home or home to away. And I know it's, it's really hard to explain all this code. Um, but I kind of just want to show it to y'all and you can just look at it and pause the video and digest it. Uh, but we got to move right. And then the cooldown, all it is, is, you know, we just set that bull cooldown to true and we wait a fourth of a second and then cool down to false and then up here we nest all the logic in to this cooldown bool and the cooldown has to be false in order for us to do any of this but yeah so um if no teams are user controlled and you move to the right then we move the gamepad icon to the right then we set the the, the home team to be user controlled and it's just similar logic down here, uh, just covering all the scenarios that we could have. 
And so this start game button is this right here. It's not an actual button you can click on in a UI because I want this game to be played with a gamepad. Uh, it's not going to be on mobile. Uh, so I, I created similar to my other script that I showed y'all in a previous video about switching scenes. Um, this one, this is one we covered in a previous video. Um, I made another one for if I'm just pressing a button on the gamepad rather than clicking a button on the UI to switch the scene. Uh, and that's all, that's all this is. Uh, so we can define which scene we want to load, which scene we want to unload, and which button we press to make it happen. So that is pretty much it. Uh, let's... Where was I? Pre-game manager? Yeah, just look at it again. I'm just going to scroll down. Yeah, okay, so the start game button, we can't press this button if if neither team has been uh set to be user controlled because we don't want to start the game if we're not controlling any team so we won't be able to play it obviously so we can only press the start game button if we are on one side or we're on a side like we got to be on a side we got to be on away or home in order to start the game so scroll down let's look at the team selector handler Remember, this goes in the update uh, method. Move left, move right, and cool down. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, let's clean up all this, all this stuff we're not using. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe as that really does help me out a lot with YouTube's algorithm. Thanks and duck bless.